Example four, the average of the first nine numbers was four, and the average of the next ten numbers was six. What was the overall average? Let's focus on the question. The overall average is... The total sum over the total number of numbers. So we have two things we have to identify to find the overall average. So if you're asked to find the overall average, just keep in mind, total sum, total number of numbers. And whenever they ask for overall average, they're going to give you statements like this. They're going to say the average of the first however many things was this. Okay? So the average was 4. Okay, how does averaging work? And just in general, averaging. All right, we just want to do regular average. Divide by how many there is. Average equals the sum over the number of numbers, right? Yeah. That's how regular averaging works, right? So that highlighted yellow statement there, the average of the first 90 numbers was 4. They're telling me the average is 4. They're telling me there were 90 numbers. They're not telling me what the sum of the numbers is. So looking at the yellow highlighted statement, it gets me this information. If I cross multiply, putting this 4 over 1, I get the sum of those 90 numbers was 360. So looking at the overall average in the context of this problem, the sum of the first 90 numbers was 360. So 360 is the sum, and 90 is how many numbers there were. The number I'm not using there is the average. I don't care about the average. I care about what the sum was and how many numbers were there. If I look at the second statement about average, the average of the next 10 numbers was 6. Once again, here's my average rule, right? The average was 6, and there's 10 numbers. So average, which is 6, equals the sum of those numbers over 10. Again, if I put this over 1 and cross multiply, the sum of those numbers is going to be 6 times 10, which is 60. I get a sum of 60, and there were 10 numbers. So I'm trying to do overall average. I have to use the averages they gave me to find out what the sum of the numbers and how many numbers there were in each different situation. Then the overall average, I'm going to put OA for overall average. I add the top numbers, I add the bottom numbers, and then I divide. Keep in mind the overall average always skews towards the one that is um, has more numbers going into it. Okay, so notice the average of 4, 90 numbers went into it. The average of 6, 10 numbers went into it, right? So more numbers went into the average of 4. And notice the answer is closer to 4 than it is to 6. But overall average is always between the averages. Not halfway between, but between. All right? So again, since this was more numbers, the answer is closer to this. This was fewer numbers, the answer is further away from this. The answer is always going to be between the averages, but it's going to be closer to whichever one has the most numbers going into it.